Did you hear about the ice cream man found dead in his van covered in sprinkles? Police think he topped himself. <laughs> that one were from Les, and don't forget, comment your jokes down below. Right, so hello again everybody and welcome back. So today we're going to be taking a look at the new Amazon Fire TV Cube. I didn't own the previous one, but I am excited to have a look at it and see how it compares to such as the 4K Fire Stick. And is it really worth investing your money in, considering it's more than two times the price of a 4K Fire Stick? Right, so that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's crack on. Right, so if you are interested in looking at the Fire TV Cube, I will leave a link in the description down below. It is an affiliated link, but anything you purchase through that, it won't cost you any more, but we just get a little bit of the commission to help support the channel, that's all. Or you can just go on your normal Amazon. <laughs> right then, so with any Amazon product, I love the boxing. I really do love the boxing. Although I can't figure out how to get into it. <laughs> how do you get in this? It's not as big as I thought it were going to be, but I'll tell you something. It's heavy. Right, so what I'm going to say is it looks really clean. I do like the look of it. It just looks like a square Alexa, to be fair. You've got all your normal buttons on top, and you've got six little holes on there as well to pick up your voice. On the bottom, what does look like ventilation, I'm guessing that's going to be the speaker for Alexa. And then the only things you've got are on the back. Right, so as you can see, you've got the HDMI, you've got the power slot, you've got the infrared, and you've also got a micro USB. I'm not sure what the micro USB is going to be used for, but we'll take a look at it. So inside the box, you also get an adapter, which has an Ethernet port and the micro USB port as well. You've got this here, and I'm going to be totally honest with you. I ain't got a clue what that is. <laughs> Does that plug into the infrared port? We'll have to find out in a minute. You've got one of the biggest plugs I've ever seen. And then you've got the remote, which is the exact same as the 4K Fire Stick. The thing I like about Amazon, they actually send you some batteries as well. Right then, so now you've seen what actually comes in the box. We're going to get it hooked up, see how it works, see if it looks any different to what your Fire Sticks look. And just really see if it's worth investing any money in whatsoever. Because £110 is not a cheap piece of kit for what you can get that's out there. So once again, let's crack on. Right then, so when starting up the cube, everything looks exactly the same as it does on a normal fire stick. I've got to record this on the TV and instead of the capture card because for some reason it just keeps going black and I can't see a thing. So that's the reason we're on a camera this time and it might look shit picture quality. Right, so the only things that I have seen which are a bit different are a couple of the different features, so the functions. If I go to settings... And I go all the way across to My Fire TV, Developer Options, and Install Unknown Apps. So it no longer says Allow Unknown Sources. So if I click on that, it actually gives you the choice of which apps you allow the device to install from. And you no longer have to enable this before you do a download. It prompts you, as soon as you try downloading something from such as Downloader, it'll say that that app requires permissions and it'll direct you straight to it to be able to do it. So you don't have to worry about doing that straight away and in actual fact apart from the performance and the storage size there's not really anything else which is different think of it more like a fire stick on steroids it's just a beast but then you've also got the added effect of it being an i can't say it because she'll turn on shall i say it alexa play kenny loggins playing with the boys playing with the boys from top gun original soundtrack by Kenny Loggins on Amazon Music. <laughs> yes! <laughs> For those who follow me on Instagram, you're going to know I like this song. Playing, playing with the boys. Staying, playing with the boys. <laughs> Alexa, stop. So as you can see, you've got all the functionalities as what an Echo Dot would have, but you've also got a higher performing Fire Stick layout. Right, so another test we do do on all reviews is can you highlight the top bar inside applications, so the menu and the search icon. Obviously, it's an Amazon device, so obviously you can. A lot of people may think, well, why does that make a difference? A lot of Android boxes don't allow you to highlight the top bar inside applications. 
which means you've got to activate the mouse function to access the menu and the search and things like that, and it becomes a real ball ache. It is saying I can use voice command here as well, so I'm going to try it. <laughs> Yeah, so that don't work right well. But it is a third-party app, so that's probably why. Obviously, with it being an Amazon device, we know it supports um, Prime Video in 4K and the official Android TV Netflix, which you can't find on many boxes now. As you can see when I click on it, as you can see, loads up fast, brilliant quality, and you can actually navigate well in it as well, because it's designed for this. And then also, you can get your BBC iPlay, your ITV Hub, and things like that. Right, so another thing, it's still got the mirroring feature that the Fire Stick has. So if you click the home button and hold it, you're going to see you have still got the mirroring feature. And I will pair my phone up now to see if there's any lag and see what it's like. Right then, so as you can see, it's paired up. There is a tiny bit of lag when I am clicking on stuff. The words actually match, so the sound is in sync with it, which you don't find that often either. Turn it landscape, zoom in, ding dang le do, oi oi. So that's another really useful feature on the Amazon devices. Right, so now we're going to try some 4K footage, see how it runs. We're expecting this to do well. Right, so as you can see, loads up quick, crystal clear picture as well. And there's not really any stuttering going off around. A lot of the time when using boxes, you're going to see a little stutter when it's trying to do 4K content, especially on the budget boxes. But I'll tell you what, that looks awesome. Let's just check what quality it is playing in. And as you can see, it does say 4K and it is the highest resolution. So that's an awesome sign. Right, so now we're going to just try a quick game, see what it games like and that. This is just an emulator that you get on my website. It's all ready to go. And we're just going to try it, see how it works. So, see if there's any buffering, lagging, things like that. I think I've um, customised the controllers wrong, because I can't move. <laughs> move! So, here we go, look, we're off. <laughs> That's playing awesome. It's just as good a performance as my NVIDIA Shield, and honestly, that is working great. It's smooth, buttery smooth as um, TD UK, I'd say. But it's, it's working that. Look at that for a kill. Boom. Love it. Love it. Boom. <laughs> as you can see, though, performance-wise, it's awesome. Although Mario is not really like a high-intensity game for the CPU, it works awesome. So as you can see, when we go across to Manage Install Applications, it tells us the internal storage, which available is 11.42 gigabyte. And that is quite a big amount. But a good thing as well is we noticed on the micro USB on the back, we can plug in an OTG cable, what we usually use for the Fire Stick to have a USB port. And then you can plug in a memory stick or even an external hard drive. And then what you can also do is format that so the Amazon Fire TV Cube sees it as internal storage, which is pretty good and fair play. Alexa, play the Grand Tour. Getting a grand tour from Prime Video. I don't know which one I'd rather... Sound! Alexa, home. So as you can see, if you're lazy like me, this is good. Obviously, to use Prime Video and that, you are going to need to subscribe to that. I will leave links down below if you want to support the channel, but it's not a must. And also, Amazon Music, it's nice to have on there. So you can just go, Alexa, play Rhythm is a Dancer. Yeah! <laughs> Alexa, stop. Alexa, home. Right, so if you're thinking free tech, why have you got a different t-shirt on? Two minutes ago, it were grey. I spilled dinner down my shirt, so I had to change it. <laughs> but right, all in all, the Fire TV Cube, it's awesome. We did do a benchmark test using Antutu as well, which we're going to start doing regular for all product reviews. And as you can see, it's just under 130,000 on the score, which is massive. The NVIDIA Shield obviously tops any other device. And then the GT King comes in just below that, I think. So this is really the second most powerful Android device you can get. But is it worth the money? Is there something better out there you can get? In my opinion, the Fire TV Cube is a really powerful device and it works really well with just about anything. You're obviously going to have a few compatibility issues when it comes to different things, such as if an app requires a mouse, 
the mouse toggle app doesn't work as straightforward as your Fire Stick does. So to make it just easier to use and things, you're probably going to want to purchase a remote wireless keyboard with a mouse function on. So this remote has actually got an air mouse on it. And then you just go like that. Well, you see me review it enough times. But like we said, performance-wise, it's awesome. Specs-wise, awesome. But for what the majority of people are going to use it for, for £109, as opposed to a 4K Fire Stick, which is £50, you're probably going to get the same thing out of it. If you are looking for a device which has got Alexa built in, you can use your Amazon Music Prime Video just by talking to it. One more thing to note as well, if it does apply to you, this box does support 4K Ultra HD. I forgot to mention as well, the infrared cable that we did get, that's for if you're putting it in a cabinet or something like that, so it's not needed. And this is one of the only Android boxes to support Dolby Vision and Atmos. And it also comes with a Hexacore processor. Then it is also a great option for that. I will personally be setting it up in the living room, trying it out for longer, and then I'll probably release another review another month's time or something. But to be honest with you, there's not really no cons when it comes to this box. The only thing is, the micro USB port there, I'd have liked to see a USB port. Even a USB 3.0, it'd have been much better, much easier to put in your external storage. But like we said, the OTG cable works a treat. Comment your thoughts down below on this though. Do you think it's worth £109 or do you think the 4K Fire Stick is a better option? I do like it, don't get me wrong, I do love it. It's pretty much Amazon summed up, it works great, looks quality, I like it. But when it comes to money, we don't want to just be spending willy-nilly and buying stuff for the sake of buying it for features which we may not use. But like I said, I'm going to see you in the comments section down below. That's just a look at the Amazon Fire TV Cube, the second gen, the newest one. And yeah, so that being said, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you soon. Tara. Did you hear about the ice cream, man? No. Considering it's twice the price, if not more than a fight. Um, right then, so what I will say, if you are interested in taking a look and purchase... Oh, my days. Right, so what I will say, if you are interested in purchasing... The, it's not a case of that, is it? <laughs> it's not as... Obviously, a test we do on all Android box reviews and just products in general. Can you... Ha a little bit of a bubble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, with it being a... What's it called? There's no... It's just as good as performance as me NVIDIA. There yeah. <laughs> right, so if you're thinking... Oh, dear, look. <laughs> so this is the second most and... What? So to make it work better, you're probably going to want to buy a remote... <laughs> but for what the majority of people... Oh, no. Hello? Oh, love. All right. I do kind of like how it's just... No. What's that mean? Bang. 